6:15 on the Memorial Day, um, and. And can I interrupt? Since we are on film, I would like to thank all the veterans and service people that served from the town of Rochester. Um, thank you for your service. And do we have any military veterans here in the room? Please stand up so we can say thank you. Harlan. Just a few. Just a few. I'm standing. Okay. Just thank, Just thank, you, thank you for your service. You. Yeah. yeah. Then and now. Yes. And also to my big brother Bob Bellinger. Thank you for. He your was service. there this afternoon. I was going to say he was holding the flag. I think. Well, we had a slight problem with the flag. Yes. <laughs> but it is now. There was a technical malfunction on this. All right. All right. So we, uh, this meeting has been posted in three places on the website and emailed to interested parties so we can move forward legally to open meeting. And do we have any additions to the agenda from the public tonight? I don't have any, so I think we'll just move on with the uh, agenda as pre presented. And we've got the minutes from the um, last meeting at May 14th. They looked like they were. I just read them. Over. Yeah, pretty good to me. So I move we accept the minutes as typed up. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We've got that out of place. And um, any guests here? Nancy, did you have anything pressing to talk about? And, and um, no, I think this might be a, a quick meeting. So we're going to move on to. The departmental reports and I have um, Joan couldn't make it so I have a, a list of her updates to be presented and the wing farm road culvert replacement which will be a bridge um, with the White River Valley um, White River partnership was awarded to Harvey's and we're working on preparing the contract now Hey, it looks like we got some people moving in, so maybe we'll have some more excitement at the meeting. Are you recording? No. Oh, geez. Sorry. I have half of them here at Heckle Meeting. All right. Um, welcome to the <laughs> Memorial Day meeting, and we started at 617. Patty gave a nice oh, yeah. thank you to the <laughs> veterans in the room and on film, and it's been properly warned. We've accepted the meetings of the, the May 14th meeting, and we have verified that this has been properly warned and no one made any additions to the agenda and we're moving on to Jones updates which were a wing farm road culvert replacement which will be a bridge has been awarded to the Harveys and the contact contract preparation is next welcome and um, we've got the new Class 2 Municipal Road Grant. Um, we we'll passed the cricket to help repair a big noise for that. And we're giving the uh, technical aspects, which will be similar to West Hill Road. Uh, we have been talking to the U.S. Forest Service about the next cooperative road agreement for priority culvert replacements. And the tour and presentation with Richard Amor um, from VACCD regarding the village district designation is set for June 5th. Business owners in the district have been invited from a list that I provided and Joan won't be there due to a previous obligation but she's going to be working with Two Rivers Arequichi Regional Commission staff afterwards to start the application for the downtown village redesignation. And we're also going to talk with Richard about um, suggested ways to fund sidewalk improvements. Um, excuse me, Joan, where's yes. he from? He's a representative of something. V-A-C-C-D. I would guess that the V stands for Vermont. Right. <laughs> and A could be the Agency of Community... Community Development? Something Development. Yeah, no, okay. we could look into that if you if you want to know that specifically. And this is about the downtown. Designation. This is about the downtown village, village designation. designation, which which lapsed because of new requirements in the town plan, which we have addressed and updated the town plan to satisfy, and now we can reapply for downtown village designation. Um, we still have no word from VTrans on the structures grant request on the uh, Bethel Mountain Road culvert design. The 
grant and aid for 219 2019 letter of intent has been submitted and the um, parameters for this were described at the last meeting in the minutes and there is a reminder that the sidewalk tour and discussion with John Kaplan of uh, VTrans and the bike and pedestrian program will be this next Wednesday at 8 a.m. We'll be touring through the town to discuss the uh, options for dealing with the, the sidewalk. And Being that, the day after tomorrow. That the day after tomorrow, exactly. And we did have um, folks from the waste, uh, the stormwater runoff come through and tour through the town last week and looking at um, the stormwater runoff issues, which goes hand in hand with the sidewalk repair because a lot of any kind of curbing improvement is going to help to direct water and control that. So there are a lot of factors seeming to uh, be focusing on the issue of the sidewalk. So it's, it's hopeful that we will get some funding. some funding and some improvements on that. So that's uh, next step is Wednesday morning at 8, talking with John Kaplan and walking around town looking at that. So that's what um, Joan had for us. The, nobody is here from the library or the constable's department. And the highway is no plowing of snow. How is the road? Did they get out and grade it yet? Come on. We got started. I mean, there must be some other road they can do before they can get to me, okay. right? All right. They, they didn't want to be pushy. Last on the list. Pushy. Okay. No, they have. They did mine last Long story week. short. <laughs> And well, as long as we're on the subject, yeah. why does it always have to get dragged on to the point where like some of the roads when they're being graded are so dry that nothing's happening? I mean, the blade's just going along, picking up the loose stuff on the top, pushing it into the holes, and then three cars go by, the potholes are back. Well, why isn't it, can it be done when the roads are still a little bit moist? They, that's the so you can condition. cut. That's the Cut the potholes out. Yeah, that is the optimal. I mean, to it do. used to be done like that. Well, if we um, and the whole town used to be done in about a week. It's too late to do it now. Well, well yeah, need, that's the, yeah, rain. that's it. You need rain. You know? you know, I mean, it's every year it's like that. Yeah, it's it's a challenge working around the weather. Well, I mean, yeah, we could, I thought we were coming up with a remedy for that this spring here. Yeah, apparently not. Nah. There is also going to be some pretty specific specifications about how to grade a road coming at us from the stormwater runoff. Um, that uh, there's going to be a certain degrees and no little berms and ditches. It's going to take longer to grade roads going forward. Well, uh, I don't know. Amazes me. Do you guys do the uh, retaining ditches as you create the roads, or is that a supplementary? The ditching is, is a separate project. Sure. Yeah, it used to be done with a grader. Yeah. I can you remember can't, doing it do with a grader anymore. Yeah. No. yeah, they changed the Again, we're, talking, we could. we're yeah. talking specific yeah. degrees and yeah. angles. It's got to be pretty much all half pipes now. Yeah, they wouldn't, uh, with the grader, you could ditch it, and they would, but it would give a the sharp edge in the ditch and now they're very specific yeah. about the well, radius of the curve in the ditch. My experience has been, even past when I was delivering the mail, it seems like within the last eight, ten years, when they ditch, they get such a ditch that if you do get into it, you're not going to get out of it. Oh yeah. And it used to be, you know, if you got into a ditch, you know, you could yeah. kind of get out, you know. Some ditches now will swallow a car. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's happened. I mean, I mean, is that? We've helped people get out of them. Is that uh, it's all coming standard down. procedure? I mean, it's is that? The state. It is becoming standard procedure. I mean, Jesus. Procedure. Yeah, it's tough. So every road has to be ditched? Well, it well, depends it, on it, the, the aspect, yeah. the, the slope. If it has to be ditched, it has to be ditched in a specific way. Yeah. We can't do it the old, easy way anymore. Mm -hmm. It's much more complex. No, they have not fun for us either. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it takes it's, more time. Um, yes. Well, you have to use an excavator most of the time. You can't use a grader, so you got to rent an excavator. Yeah, leads to more bitching about ditching. 
So, Terry's not here. We've got some new business. We have, speaking of ditching, we have some ditching bids. Right. Um, <coughs> town line road ditching bids. Yeah. Where are you going to go sit over there? Yeah, so yeah. So from Excavate, which is why Patty is now sitting over there, because that's part of her family deal. Ditching by the foot. We're talking about $2.11 per foot for ditching, and the culvert installation you know, by called Provided Culverts, and it's $750 a piece, which would be $1,500 for that. It's got the insurance. And also from Harvey's Plumbing and Excavating, we've got a bit. And their price is $3 per linear foot. And a culvert replacement, we're looking at the first one at $1,858, and the second one at $2,276. So it um, looks to me that Excavate is the winning bid in this situation here. So Martha, What was the total? Was that $1,500? Did I get that correct? Uh, Excavate was $1,500 for the culverts and $2.11 per linear foot. Ditching. Your foot for ditching. Okay, yeah. Thank you. So, um, thank you. And that's on Town Line Road. Okay, and two dollars for a linear foot. I'm sorry. Yeah, two dollars and eleven cents. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure I get it right. Is that the distance of you Town Line Road? You can get out of these ditches. Every from ditch on here, are spe the North Hall of the Grand Hill, and the stuff I'm talking about, when I get done with it, it ends up looking like this. So, so I don't have an answer for how many linear feet that is. It's, 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 it's not the entire road. It's not the entire road. They're sloped. I mean, you can, if you don't just slide, you can get out of here. You don't want to And we have three applications for use of the park. So, Patty, you can come back if you want. Unless you're um, Unless one you of these people. <laughs> so we've got uh, one for the 4th of July parade and celebration on, I believe, 4th of July. <laughs> yep. And I would move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. We have another one from the White River Valley Players for September 8th. The yep, for I suppose that's the um, harvest fair. That's the harvest fair. It doesn't say the harvest fair on here anywhere, but I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. it's from Ginny Bowman. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so yeah it's, it's our 30th annual fair. fair. Yeah, it's uh, been going for a while. There are 30. 31 30th. years? 30th year. 30th, 30th, 30th year. year. 30th year. So I'd move if we approve this. Second. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the third is from the Pierce Hall Community Center. And this is for the annual ice cream social with games and flea market tables. And Probably antique cars, possibly antique cars. And that is for Sunday, July 1st. And that's coming up, and I would move to approve this Second. application of the park. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we've got Jones applications, and we got the ditching bigs, and 
there you have it. What you have? Are you on old business? We're on old business. Do you have something right. you'd like to bring up? I'd just like to know where we stand with um, Louie getting together with um, on the on the bandstand. Yes. All right. We hoped <laughs> that we would have it in this year's budget. We are We're getting pretty close. Getting close. Yeah. He said he was going to look at it. Did he look at it? I don't. I, I think he was going to look at it. Yeah. And get in I front have of no it. idea whether yeah. he has. So we would be looking yeah. towards. Jerry for that yep. response, wouldn't we? All right. We'll, but it um, would be nice to get it into this year's budget. Yeah, it would. So this is for re redoing the lighting? Is the it lighting on the bed side. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll touch base on it. He, I think he looked, checked it out a week ago. Yeah. So. so. Old business, I had a discussion with Lieutenant Robert Giolito, who is a DOT agent. And he does say that the Department of Transportation would lend scales to the town of Rochester on an annual basis. All we have to do is document when we use them and what our findings were when we used them. So when you say annual basis, you mean we could hold on to it for, for a year? For a year. Well, that sounds pretty So I'm going to put him in touch with Mark mm -hmm. about moving forward on that. Yeah, I that's think that's a really good do. idea. Did he yeah. say what the rent was? It, it's free. It's yeah. free. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry, I don't quite remember why we're getting scales. Two-way trucks. Oh, OK. And we have sent Mark to training to <coughs> be able to utilize those scales. So this is. Um, and this is for specifically for going over Bethlehem. Yes. Talking about. Okay, thank you. It was a huh. huge truck right at the end of the parade today. Oh, yeah. It came over and went north. Yep. He yep. could barely make the corner yeah. at the skip mark. Interesting. All right. So thank you for digging that up. That's mm. um, it for me. That's it for um, I think that's it. You guys have any? Oh, Marlon, you have something you want to talk about? You know on Pine Bro Road? Um, yeah. no. Did, no, just lawyers doing their thing, you know, digging for information. So, okay. That's the new on the school property. No, what's happened? Um, <coughs> it was in the Herald. We have heard that the students have agreed to turn over the property to the town. Mm -hmm. We expect that they will, we, we thought perhaps they might be here yeah. tonight. To I went to the meeting last decision. Friday, this past Friday, I was telling Pat before the meeting, the Tony Goopy did with some high school students. Right. Um, not a big turnout, but the ones that were there were really passionate about it. And they did end up voting to, you know, deed it back to the, deed it to the town. Mm -hmm. One of the girls was very worried that there might be, if the town might build a housing development there. But, uh, Tri uh, Travis needed pointed out to her that that would be kind of silly considering where it was. <coughs> so anyway. So what's what are you going to do with it? Well, how's it going? We told you Harlan, we'll lower some housing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Named after you. <laughs> That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. And we have an offer you know? on it if somebody wants to buy it. I just, I mean, anybody giving that any thought or anything? Or are we going to wait till the 25th hour? Well, the town used to well, own it anyway. Yeah. I think that it probably sit as a, a section of town forest. Uh, we yeah. don't, haven't, like, talked to any loggers or anything. I think we'll probably go out there and inspect it, but I don't think we're talking about selling it or developing it or anything. So this will be kept as an asset. asset. Yeah, yes. right. Right. That's okay. right. I just just wondered. Yeah. That's all. The you know, students I mean, were worried about that. Yeah. And I, I mean, they asked me. I don't know why they asked me, but they did. And I said, well, I can't speak for the select board, but I, my feeling is they probably want to keep it in the way it conditions yeah, it. That's, that's my thought. Yeah. yeah. Currently, there is no plan. Right. Yeah. Keep in mind the access is rather limited. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I have a request uh, for yeah. the select board to ask the lady that does the procurements for the town to start the uh, process. Hmm? The Joan. select board assistant, Joan. Okay. Yes, to start the process for the application for the funding or whatever it takes 
to uh, you know start the process for a new bridge on West Hill. It's not going to last forever, and this may take years. So unless we put the applications into the state for the uh, use of the excise tax that comes from the federal government, uh, may not happen in my lifetime. <laughs> I'm hoping. I did talk to the Forest Service, and um, previously when I spoke to them a year or two ago, they thought that they might be doing the bridge and then looking for a little funding from the state and the town, but apparently the funding for the Forest Service is different now. They have to bid on everything, but they used to have a budget for infrastructure for access to forestry land and they don't do that anymore but they will um, find funds for the town in their budget to make up differences and then so, would, so it's connected with the Robinson project and plan to yes. harvesting up there which would require because the apparently the Forest Service does have a, a temporary bridge that they could put in there, put in there to but they'd have to put it in all the yeah. infrastructure to hold yeah. it yeah. Across the man's land at the bottom, and then take it down. And yeah. I don't know how expensive that is for a logger. I have no idea. So I think the logging is going to be on hold for a while, but until yeah. we figure out what to do. Well, it's definitely something we keep bringing up, and and we'll continue. And it's and I I had talked to. The, the lady and she said you, she needed your blessings. The the, yeah. I can I can take a lead on that. Yeah. She think it. I'll talk to Jill. All right. Yep, sooner or later that's gonna have to happen. Yeah. Anybody else have anything you wanna to contribute to the meeting tonight? Or no? Got dinner waiting? I do. Yeah. So I think that's uh, that's it. Thank you for coming out on the Memorial Day evening. It's a pleasure. Yeah. It's always yeah. fun. You know? <laughs> I mean, it would be Monday night. <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I go, oh. <laughs>